Chris Doby, here we are. That smile there, we spoke on Sunday and you didn't know if you were in, but you are in this year's Premier League. Just what's the last few days been like? It's been a whirlwind, 20, uh, well, you say 24, 72 hours, you can say. But um, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, I'm, ha I'm happy with where my game's at. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just a buzz and obviously delighted with the, with the news that I got on uh, Monday morning. Where were you when you when, when you got the call? I was at home actually. Um, obviously got the, the call from Matt and like I say, it's touching on what what happened a couple of years, the last two years with the the Masters when I going on to the, getting the Premier League spot. I kind of had the feeling, but um, yeah, it was it was a great call. What was it like going to bed? One, the Masters champion, but two, not knowing because obviously Johnny and Joe were both told that night that, that they were in. Was that an, an interesting? Yeah, it was. Obviously, with, with the likes of yourself and the, the rest of the lads questioning every game I played, it was Premier League this, Premier League that, and tried to brush that off. And then, obviously, going on to win it. And then, obviously, when, when they were asked about the Premier League, you're obviously going to want it want it now that, that I won the competition. And like I said, I've got my chance now, and I'm, I'm just over the moon. Do you feel you're ready for it? Yeah, you can say that. I've been, I've been knocking on the doors of the top 16 for the last few years. Haven't quite done it, but I think my, my TV performances of late have been pretty consistent. And my, my game wasn't the best in the Masters, but it was consistent. And I think uh, I've done enough to, to win it and took out some crucial finishes at the, at the right times in, in major games. And um, yeah, I think uh, obviously I'm, I'm going to take my opportunity. And, I'm, I'm ready for everything that's thrown at us, so I'll, I'll be ready for tomorrow night. We've seen the Premier League ruin some players. Do you feel your games are a good enough place and you mentally are tough enough to cope with 16 nights? Yeah, well, I was speaking to Webby earlier. Um, obviously, I knew what happened, what happened with Webby and Michael Smith in his first year. Um, it probably happened to Gezi as well, did it? Um, it's, it's just one of those that if, it, it'll never ruin us. Um, I'll always bounce back. You've seen. Um, when I lost to Rob Cross at the match play, 8-2 um, up, lost from there. Everybody thought that would ruin me and I come back strong the very next tournament. And I think um, I think I can go, obviously go far in this competition as well. And, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, who knows? You touched on the match play. Was that a real turning point <laughs> for you in, in your career? Because we know how much that hurt. And like you say, the way that you did bounce back from it, because we saw you on the night and you were absolutely devastated. Yeah, of course. It, it hurts to, to lose from positions like that. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it did hurt. But if you ask the likes of Nathan Aspinall, who I room with that weekend, I was straight on that practice board that same night. And, uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, <clears throat> it, it, it had to be done. Obviously, I knew where I went wrong. And I put, I put the time in and effort in to, to come back from that. And uh, it's paid off in the long run. Been a whirlwind 24 hours as well. St James's Park last night when Newcastle booked the, um, the, the final, then early flight over here. Yeah. To the final now as well. Of course, mate. Of course, I follow Newcastle when, when, whenever I can, and <clears throat> I couldn't miss last night. Uh, obviously, getting getting to Wembley, it, it's a massive thing for us. We haven't we haven't been there since '99. Obviously, we played Spurs when when they played the home games there, but it wasn't it wasn't quite the same. And yeah, it'll just be nice nice to see. Hopefully, we can. Uh, get some silverware. Was it like getting the tweet from Newcastle as well when you won the Masters? Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice feeling. I'm um, obviously been a big fan all my life, and a lot of people say, "Oh, the, the richest club in the world and whatnot." But uh, to, to just have a the littlest of tweets, it, it means the world, and it just shows their support, and I'm, I'm appreciative of that. The 17 nights in in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. how, how do you approach them? As in, I know Michael Smith left to the last minute to win one, and he was desperate to win one. Is you, is that the key, just to win one night and then see what happens, or just would you take not winning one and accumulate enough points to make the finals? Nah, of course. I, I, if you look at it, it's a, you're in a quarter final every every week, and um, I'm, I'm good enough to win w at least one or more than one. Uh, it, it's just whatever happens on the night. I'm uh, I'm not go just going to go there and, and hope to, to get in the top four. I want to I want to be winning a few of these events and look look at what Johnny and Joe's done the last two years. 
Joe was a millimetre away from winning it. And you, you could say he probably deserves his spot here. Um, but like I say, I, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of me. I, I would have loved to see Joe here because of, of the way he performed last year in the Premier League. He, he did deserve his, his chance at it because if that had been a millimetre on the other side of the wire, he, he was in. It was a no-brainer, but uh, like I say, I, I've got my opportunity, I've got to take it and uh, I, I can't be bitter for that reason. I've got to focus on my own game and uh, I think I can I think I can deal, deal with it and uh, hopefully kick on from this. One thing that no one's mentioned yet as well, we're in the Grand Slam already, where normally it's a race <coughs> to get there. And what's it feel like to know that you're in the Slam <laughs> in January? Yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling. That was the kind of weight off my shoulders before going into the final because I knew the circuit. Circumstances. Um, obviously, it was a massive game. Not only beating a good friend in Smithy, and who was the world champion, of course, but uh, to get that place secured for the Grand Slam already, it just gives us that freedom to go in the final, just enjoy the final, and uh, like I said, just try my best. And I, I gave it my all, and I come out the winner on top. Thanks, pleasure as always, and all the very best. Cheers, man.